I'm Lizzie and I'm the Discount Vegan. I make budget-friendly recipes and teach you how to garden even in the smallest spaces so that you can save money on what you eat and spend or save it on other things. So if that sounds good to you, then definitely, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button, click the bell notification beside it, so YouTube will always let you know when I have new videos out. And also, don't forget to follow me everywhere else. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So definitely, go there. You can find me under the discount vegan. So today I want to show you a really easy bread recipe and hack that not only will allow you to have fresh homemade breads, flat breads, tortilla, um, loaves, obviously buns, etc. It'll also allow you to do this beautiful thing called multitasking because you don't need to be there to mix the ingredients, to proof the dough. It's all done by your bread maker. So if that sounds good to you, let's get to this. So super simple to do. All you have to do is follow this directions pretty exact because I mean it is baking and bread and this is a science and not really anything like cooking which is why you don't see a whole lot of baked goods on this channel but I'm going to fix that hopefully so first thing you want to do one and one third warm water and then a third of a cup of olive oil and we just put that down in the bottom like that and don't forget your water needs to be warm so this does need to be kind of a quick type deal and that you put your two teaspoons of salt I'm using a fine grated sea salt but you can use Himalayan or regular table salt will be fine I guess as well I've used them both I'm not a big fan of table salt though so now that that is all in there now you take your four cups of flour and I'm just gonna kind of shovel that in because this is not a lot of space. Now that you have the flour in on top of the liquids, you just wanna put your sugar, which is two tablespoons and two teaspoons in on the corner right here. You can put it in on any corner actually, but this is my corner, so I put it there. And then just make a well in the center, like that, and three teaspoons of yeast go in that little hole, that little well. just like that and that is literally it that is that is all of your ingredients that you need pretty simple easy and it's good to go okay now all you have to do close the lid make sure it kind of does that suction click every bread maker is going to be different so I just click bread type 
till I get to dough slash pasta, two hours, and that's it. Now we can step away for a couple of hours and do what we need to get done. Okay, so it's been two hours each after I was done showing you one I did my other because I always do two. There's enough space for a third. I would love a third machine. But either way, so they are done. I've been off doing my own thing and now we are done. Daphne and Velma are all tuckered out from their workday and now it's time to split everything up and make what we're gonna make. Okay, now all I need to do is flour my surface. This is a freshly washed surface, so you just flour it out, kind of like you do regularly, regularly, just like that, and peel the dough out. Now you can see in just the couple of minutes, it started rising again, and that's okay. There we go. Now it's going to be sticky, as you can see. It's still a little sticky, so just a little flour. We want it to be tacky, but not sticky. And just kind of work the dough a little bit extra. So there we have one log. Pretty good sizable portion. And just for fun, I'll show you guys how much I make in a week. And now these are two really nice lows, just like that. As you can see, That will make six flatbreads, depending on how big you want them, between four to eight buns and a small loaf. So let's get to this. I'm actually going to use this smaller one. It's only slightly smaller. It's a little stiffer. So I'm going to use that for my flatbreads and we will let that go back there. Okay, so now that that's all done, just scrape down my surface a little bit. I have one loaf that I'm proofing right now and eight buns that I will also be proofing. Put the oven on 350 and just kind of sit them on top of the stove to get a little bit of warmth to help them rise again. And once you're done preheating, then you can put them in the oven. And this is my stack of flatbreads. This time I got one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, actually, instead of six. The first one I wanted to show, I tried two different um, pans. This pan was actually a stainless steel pan. And as you can see, the marks are very different. Whereas this is just a Teff style, um, what are they called? Like nonstick pan. And as you can see, like, look at this. It's so bendy and so good. So it all depends on what you want. Like, this is probably a better one to show. But yeah, so now you just have to wait for about 15, 20 minutes for your the rest of your dough to proof and then put it in the oven. I put it in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, but obviously you definitely want to check on yours halfway through. Just make sure that it is cooking and baking properly. Okay, so it's been about 15, 20 minutes. As you can see, they both have risen. And all I need to do now is put them in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes and they will be completely baked. And that is exactly how simple this dough recipe is. You get fresh bread and hardly have to do a single thing. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.